As an example, let's create a new directory and use the directory as a base for a new LSP application. We can start the web file server and register the new application by providing command line parameters to the web file server. The command line parameters instruct the web file server to mount the example directory and to make the example directory available as a LSP resource with a URL path starting with example. Notice the port numbers used by the web file server. In this case, the server is using the default web server ports 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. The server will use alternative port numbers if the default port numbers are blocked. Let's open a browser window and navigate to the application we created. The reason for us getting a 404 not found message is that we have a new application but we do not have any LSP pages. We should at a minimum have an index LSP page. Let's go ahead and create one. As you can see, the text we are creating is not valid HTML. The purpose here is not to teach you HTML, but to show you how to use the demo programs. Luckily, browsers are very forgiving when it comes to incorrect HTML. We must now save the file in our example directory. We should now see the new LSP page in the browser if we press the browser's refresh button. Notice that the data returned to the browser is dynamically created by the server when we execute a LSP page. When I press the refresh button, the client sends a GET request to the server. The server delegates the response to the LSP page we created. The LSP page executes in the server and returns response data to the client. In our basic example, only the code fragment that randomly prints the number of the day is executed on the server. As we mentioned previously, the application name is used as a base URL for our application. The web file server can also load what we refer to as root applications. A root application is a web application that does not start with a base path. The web file server is designed such that it loads an application as a root application if no name is specified. We now get a 404 not found message when we attempt to access the application since we have now changed the application to a root application. Let's remove the path from the URL and try again. As you can see, the application is now accessible without specifying a path. 